Some of you might know that uh, we're doing a TYT Fantasy Football League, what I sometimes call Rotis League. Uh, Ben's in it, I'm in it, Tom's in it, and uh, the, we're all two and out. We are actually. This is the power squad, squad right here. Okay. Now, uh, two, two and, these two out of these uh, powerhouse teams are facing each other this weekend. So it's obviously a very exciting weekend at the TYT League. It is the Kraken versus the Conversation. Okay, it's a throwdown. I am right now currently leading the league. I have the most amount of points. It's not a big deal. But this kid here, the, the, the so-called Kraken, uh, thinks that, uh, that he could take me on here. So, uh, Tom, what is your argument for, uh, what is your case that, that you're going to be able to beat me this weekend? Well, first of all, you're leading the league uh, by six points, I think it is. I'm, I'm six points behind you for a point total league leader. To which I would say... What now? Okay. And second of all, I don't know if uh, Jesus can pull up the graphic for either of our teams. All right, yeah. So now this is uh, our lineups. Okay, so that's, that's you. You've got Philip Rivers, excellent. Reggie Wayne and Randy Moss, inarguable. Asian Pizza, Jesus Christ, this team's good. Uh, <laughs> but then you run a little schwang wang wang with Jamal Charles, who's excellent, but Kansas City is mysteriously using an 80-year-old man instead. Jermichael Finley is obviously a very, very good tight end, but we're not sure he's going to live up to his potential. And then Malcolm Floyd, for your flex position, as it were, is nicely done. All right, that's a good team. That's a good team. Almost as good, but not quite as good as the conversation. Who said that? <laughs> Michael Vick. Okay, look, he's hot, but that's the weak spot in my team as the quarterback, if yeah, you ask get me. Rivers over Vick goes to him. Oh, yes, that's right. My receivers are Calvin Johnson and Dwayne Bowe, who are... Who are very very good, but I got to give receivers to Tom too. Right? Receivers go. He has receivers one and two in this. Yes, so and he's dominant so far in this. So far, well, here comes. Uh, if you want to release the conversation, here's where it begins. Chris Johnson, top running back in the league. Uh, Pierre Thomas has been doing excellent. Is a very good running back. And then my flex position with Arian Foster is a jackhammer. It's a suplex off the top rope. I drag you off to the top rope, and I'm suplexing you off the top rope with Arian Foster. And my tent tight end at Chris Coley has been awesome this week. I mean, this year. Now, look, Chris Johnson is canceled out by Adrian Peterson. They're, they're equal. They're, I, I disagree. I don't, I, don't, I don't disagree. I mean, I think Adrian Peterson is excellent and solid. I think Chris Johnson could explode for 48 points, and leaving you wondering what the hell happened to me. Do you know who Adrian Peterson is playing this week? Who is he playing? That's a good question. Detroit. At home against Detroit Lions. Yeah. You know, I'll I'm take Adrian Peterson at home against Detroit versus you know what uh, I hate? Chris Johnson against the Giants. Here's why I don't like either. At, at New York. Let me explain why I don't like either of you guys. Okay, go ahead. And I don't mean as rotisserie owners. I mean... As individuals. Yeah. As human beings. As yes. people. Like, because there's no... And it's the, the adamacy. Mm -hmm. Like, you with the Chris Johnson uh, eats Adrian Peterson's jock strap. If that's what... Well, that would be disastrous. No, that would be the opposite. Okay. Peterson Adrian would have Peterson. to eat... Yeah. See, I don't know. This is kind of <laughs> right. uh, See, he's so very bad at trash Adrian talking. Peterson... I'm horrible at trash talking. <laughs> oh, yeah? I uh, eat your jockstrap. Wait uh, a minute. Exactly. Um, <laughs> uh, I can't... What was the one bit of trash talking what? I did? Who said that? <laughs> what did I... Uh, I, I trash talked like uh, one guy who uh, questioned whether... Said I called a foul too late in basketball one time in Charleston. Right. Uh, and I was like, you don't have the, you know, you back off, young man, because you don't have the, you have neither the moral standing nor the aptitude. <laughs> that was the worst bit of trash talk history of mankind. Okay. Uh, so, uh, but the, uh, uh, but like, like, okay, and you with the, they're equal. No, they aren't. Chris Johnson's like the best fantasy football running back in years. So don't give me they're the same. Chris Johnson is the best, and you know it. You're not an idiot. What did they do last week? Who's the number one running back in this in fantasy football? What did they do last week? Who is the number one <laughs> running back? What did they if do last week? If you have to answer the question. What did they do last week? Who's the number it's one? It's 1A and 1B. It's 1A and 1B. 1A ran against the Pittsburgh Steelers last week. Who's the best running back in fantasy? Who gained 2,000 yards last year and scored 200 touchdowns? Look. They're 1A and 1B. All right, you won't answer the question. Right. It's obvious. I mean, it's the it's most ridiculous. It's an it's embarrassing ridiculous. answer. Okay. So what I'm saying is, obviously, Chris Johnson's better. We got that. But Peterson may be number two, and you can't diss him. Right. And so of course, can, look, 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 look. Let me keep it real. Can 
putting the trash talking aside, can Peterson outscore Chris Johnson on, on any, any given, given week? week? Of course. Of course! Of course he can. So I understand that. But you know what? It could be a crazy week, and Calvin Johnson could outscore Reggie Wayne and Randy Moss combined. It's possible, right? He probably won't. Dwayne Bowe could score three touchdowns and have 185 yards. The question is, if you're ranking people, Chris Johnson's the best player on anybody's league. Adrian Peterson is two. But the, and then his receivers are better, but you have uh, Pierre Thomas obviously just got this gift given to him. With because Reggie, of Reggie Bush. Because of Reggie Bush being out, he was already good. And Arian Foster with an your unbelievable... Flex spot, your flex spot is better. Yeah. Uh, but the good thing for me is that uh, Ryan Matthews is hurt, so Phillip Rivers is going to have to pass, I think, in yeah. Seattle, which helps Floyd. They always pass, though. That's and, yeah. uh, you know, hopefully it doesn't come down to Monday night, but I'm glad that I have... Uh, Finley, you know, I can hopefully I win either way. Hopefully the Bears win, and if they do lose, hopefully at least fin, Finley gives me the win here. So I'll be happy. It's a crazy, it's way. a it's a crazy conversation. No offense, Jack. Um, <laughs> but uh, uh, Arian Foster, though, if there's like everybody needs to take a deep breath on Arian mm. Foster. That's all. Good, okay, good player, but let's take a deep breath. Right. Look, I, it's, in all honesty, it's real, it's real close, it's real obviously. Close. And, you know, look, anybody who's played fantasy football a long time knows that might be a little bit of luck involved on any given week, right, yeah. as to who goes up and who goes down. At the end of the year, more of luck has been removed from the equation, a little more, obviously. Yeah, right? but suppose, uh, you're right, because suppose Adrian Peters, suppose the Vikings get off to a 38 nothing lead and he scores one touchdown and has 85 yards, and they're awesome, and then they're like, oh, well, he's done the last quarter and a half, and it has nothing to do with him or anything. Uh, having, you know? s- having said that, I will crush. <laughs> Cenk is a favorite in this game. Oh, you think I'm a favorite? That's what I was going to ask. Yeah. Like four points. I mean, they're, they're both great teams, and you, Tom, would be a favorite over probably every other, certainly over my team. Mm-hmm. All right, uh, Tom, what's your predictions? Let's do predictions. What do you beat me by? Uh, I think I beat you by one point. I okay. think it's very close. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go out of my way to say it's not close. I'm gonna wake up Sunday morning with Eye of the Tiger on the alarm clock, roll out of bed, straight into the push-up position, drink my eggs, my egg raw egg shake. And then uh, set my roster, you know, final adjustments. Who's your other quarterback there, Jay? <laughs> uh, no other quarterback. Oh. So, <laughs> no, Kevin Cobb, but he's not starting. Right. So, so I, yes. I and know. there's I defenses, mean, too, by the way, but they're not as relevant. I was really trying not to get involved in this, but I don't know when we're going to finally realize that Michael Vick is good. I mean, I don't see what's so bad about Michael Vick. I mean, yeah. he looks good. No, he's been great. I mean, he, I mean he may have a bad week, but there's no reason for us to say, oh, yeah, Michael Vick, whatever. No, no, there's and, no whatever with him. No, no, I hear you 100%. It's only a matter of fluctuation, right? So Vic was so good, they're benching the guy that they had banked their whole you know, franchise on, Kevin Cobb. That's how good he was in the first two days. But you know Philip Rivers is a proven commodity in fantasy football, and he's very unlikely to disappoint you. There's some chance Vic disappoints He doesn't have all of his weapons, man. It's not all just because of the quarterback, man. He does not yeah, have Yeah, but he's been great the first two weeks anyway. Or, yeah. or good. I don't have my ear. Not in the first week. Are, not in the first week. He's, thro- he's thrown over 600 yards and five touchdowns in the first two weeks. Yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. You can't argue with Rivers. All right, bottom line is uh, I beat is, Tom by 11 points. Is okay. JR talking Vic up or talking Vic down? Oh, JR is talking them up. Yeah, yeah. he's saying Vic is great. Yeah, so far, it's been great. This is a guy who wasn't even that productive as a starter his last year starting in football. So I think everybody should take a deep breath. And I think the Eagles have handled this enormously uh, uh, poorly. Okay. So bottom line is, uh, he, Tom says he's going to win by one. I say I'm going to win by 11. Ben says I'm going to win by four. And a half. Okay. <laughs> so that, we get a good sense of consensus here. Hence, knowing fantasy football, Tom will probably win by 48. Yeah, and just real okay. quick so everybody understands, JR likes Michael Vick because Michael Vick killed dogs. <laughs> That's a good point. <laughs>